How's it going guys? It's Garrett with Gulf Coast Angling again. You may have missed my Pompano Catch and Cook video a few weeks ago, but several people actually asked me about cleaning Pompano or cleaning fish in general. So while I might not be the greatest fish cleaner by any stretch of the imagination, I actually occasionally get roasted for how poorly I clean fish. Uh, I wanted to upload this video for anyone who has no idea how to go about cleaning fish, uh, much less Pompano, and help them out in, in, in that regard. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe for more content like this and uh, enjoy the rest of the vid. Thanks. All right, guys, we're back at the house with our three Pompano. I really wanted to get four, but this this will feed the two of us pretty well. I, I definitely don't want to take any more than what, what's due. When you get limits, you can feed a lot of people, but at the end of the day, for just the two of us, three fish is more than enough. Anyways, I haven't done any uh, videos on cleaning. I, I'm not a, a good fish cleaner by any extent of the imagination, but, but one thing that's key to have is, is a sharp knife. Um, this is the Dow Strong Shogun series. Uh, it's, it's a fillet knife, but it's, it's stiffer than your standard fillet knife. Um, and I, I use it more in the kitchen than I do for fish, but it's very good at, at uh, filleting fish and I keep it very sharp, so it'll make short work of these pompanos. I'm no pro, there's there's plenty of people who can do it better than me, but uh, just figured I'd show you guys. So for pompano, I make an incision right beneath the gills, and I, I like to get up towards the head, because there is there is plenty of good head meat, to, similar to a mahi, there's there's a lot of meat in the, uh, the forehead area of the fish, so I make an incision at the gills, but also come up towards the, uh, the tip of the head uh, and get some of that meat. You can go further up, but um, like a mahi, it tends to get a little bit stringy uh, the further you go up. So I just slide that down the backbone and, and feel the knife against the backbone. I went a little deep there, but then we're going to come out on the other side right there. We're going to finish our cut down towards the stomach. Try to trim out a lot of the stomach. We don't want sand fleas um, spoiling our fillet. And then we're just gonna gradually work that meat from the rib cage figure out where those ribs are connecting to the rest of the fish carcass. Boom, there's one half of our filet. I like to flip it over, um, so, so basically like unfold it like a book. And we are going to slide the knife blade. This is where having a flexible blade comes in handy. This blade's a little bit stiffer, so it doesn't offer as much ability to get that real skin tight, um, that tight cut right against the skin. So I'm struggling a little bit here, yeah. So messed up at the end right there. Like I said, a, a flexible blade would, would help us stay against that skin and uh, not slip it up, but that's no big deal. We can just clean it up by just shaving that little bit off. You're gonna lose a little bit of meat when that happens, but still have a very beautiful filet of fish. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom through the, uh, the rest of these filets. Have two, four, six fillets. Um, really, an average person could, could eat two of these and be satisfied, um, But so we might cook all, all six of them. Uh, we might save a couple for another time, but regardless, uh, let me get through these. One last thing we wanna do is, see I, I, I missed a, or trimmed a little bit of the stomach liner off right there. We simply want to find the uh, where the rib cage meets right there. Cut that, trim that out. And that is one pompano filet. I'm gonna rinse it off. I have running water right here. Some people say don't rinse your fish off. It, it's kind of like a back and forth argument. Um, I personally like to rinse it, get that, get any grit or get any uh, slime off. And I, I find that it, it, it stays fresher longer. There's arguments uh, on, on letting it stay in its natural 
uh, natural slime versus washing it off. I, I prefer to rinse it, but I don't think there's technically a right answer. We're going to bag that, flip it over, and do the other side. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a second once we get all of these done. But uh, that's long, short, long story short, how to fillet a pompano.